Um, and what it does, it becomes really popular. We have all kinds of ceramics from 3,000 years ago on. Before 3,000 years ago, before that came into this area, Indians and natives did whatever they could to make vessels. And so they, uh, they certainly they wove baskets, but that's really difficult to make a watertight basket. Um, there's bark, so some of the, the birch that you see, there's uh, yeah, the white birch here, but where the bark peels off really nicely. You can make containers out of that, but again, yeah, you put that in a the fire, and that's going to be a problem. But one of the things that they had in this part of the world, and I truly don't know if there's any of it in Indiana, because it's not, it's a very um, localized rock, is what technically is called steatite, but that most everybody calls soapstone. The reason they call it soapstone is that when you feel it, it actually, it's got a lot, it actually has talc in it. And so it's a real soft rock, and it feels like, like soap, it feels like, um, like baby powder. Soapstone is very soft. You can carve it with any rock. Geologists have what's called a Mohs scale, M-O-H apostrophe S, which is how, um, I think like a human fingernail is like a three on the Mohs scale. Diamond is 10. Granite is six or seven. Soapstone is like you know, two or three. So literally you can scratch it with your fingernail. Your fingernail is harder than the soapstone. Um, it's also, uh, Real durable stuff, once you carve it out, and you can carve it. And it also is really, really uh, good at retaining heat. Um, do you guys, do you guys, do you guys don't have a soapstone bed warmer at the... I think we do. Yeah. So up in this part of the world, what you do is, uh, the colonists would, would you get a piece of soapstone, it's carved flat, they would attach it to like a handle, they would just put it near the fireplace, and it would get really nice and toasty. And then before you go to bed at night, you pick it up with, with um, um, oven mitt, and you just roll it all under the sheets, and it warms up the bed. Um, I, in my old house, I had a wood stove, it was made in Vermont, where the framing is all cast iron, but the top and the sides is all polished soapstone. It's beautiful, it looked like marble. Uh,